Nicole Noonan and Jim Lebrecht's remarkable new documentary takes us back to Camp Jeanette, a place not far from Woodstock that in the 50s, 60s, and 70s served as a summer retreat for kids with disabilities. I mean, when Woodstock was happening, I remember being at my grandmother's listening on the transistor radio and saying, wish I could go, wish I could go, wish I could go. And then when I went to Jeanette, it was like, there I was, I was in Woodstock. The music and the people. And just feel like these people are crazy, you know? I mean, in a good way. Lebrecht himself first attended the camp in 1971. And as he and other alumni recall, it offered many of them a profoundly formative experience of community and solidarity, a taste of what life could be like in a world that truly recognized and honored them as equals. Dance and play baseball. You wouldn't be picked to be on the team back home, but at Jeanette, you had to go up to bat. Even when we were that young, we helped empower each other. It was allowing us to recognize that the status quo is not what it needed to be. The window that Crip Camp opens onto the experience of living with disability is both sweetly affirming and, as you might guess from the movie's title, bracingly irreverent. It's a pleasure to spend time with its many charismatic and sometimes wickedly funny subjects, many of whom, like the activist Judy Human, went on to become leading figures in the disability rights movement. And I would appreciate it if you would stop shaking your head in agreement when I don't think you understand what we are talking about. The result is both a joyous chronicle of triumph over adversity and a sobering reminder of how long and hard disabled activists had to fight for anti-discrimination laws, like the Americans with Disabilities Act of 1990. It shows us that while the seeds of a revolution can be planted by happy accident, it takes tremendous faith, stamina, and discipline to make a meaningful difference. I'm Justin Chang for the Los Angeles Times.